With increasing concerns about school safety, Murray County High School has put new technology into place that could make a big impact. David Carroll has the story in our School Patrol report. When students return to class at Murray County High School, they'll be greeted by some new devices designed to keep them safer. A weapon detection device, a go-safe body temperature detection system, and a smart sensor in bathrooms. It's not a camera, but a sensor capable of detecting vaping, disturbances, and air quality issues. School officials say Murray County High has relatively few discipline problems, but the CARES Act Federal School Recovery Funds have made it possible to purchase safety tools that didn't even exist a few years ago. Safety's an issue, and we just want to be proactive with the things, the things that we do around here, as, as in general rule. And we're hoping that um, these, the, the students being aware of these detectors will, will prohibit some of the activity. Maybe they'll, they'll leave it home or get the notion that this is just not really good for them. Testing is complete as the school has tried out the detectors before students return in August. I was put through the paces, clean as a whistle, with various devices. Warning. I walked through and it said warning. It did say warning. Setting off sensors. So what, what did it warn you about? Something right here in your right pocket and you have something in your left pocket too. There's my gum. All right. My pen. Before I emptied my pockets of everything except my microphone battery. I'm clean now. Pat Henley of Southwestern Communications explains how the weapons detector works. The whole purpose is to identify where on the person it is, especially in a school setting, because we, we, can't, we cannot touch students. <laughs> but we can say, what is in your left pocket? Now, this will even pick up a knife in your sock. Ooh, I guess it, people do that, all right? Oh, yes, they do. Mm -hmm. Please get close for taking temperature. There's also a temperature detection system that could prove doubly useful when viruses are in the community. 97.9, 98.1. The device also aids in facial recognition, helping detect anyone who is not supposed to be on school property. But the most commonly used tool could be this smart sensor. It resembles a smoke detector, primarily used in bathrooms, near stalls, a common hiding place for vaping. Law enforcement officers say they can't be everywhere, so these detectors can alert them of vaping, especially with THC, instantly. 20, 30 plus years ago, it was smoking in the bathroom. Now it's vaping in the bathrooms and, and, and things of that nature. And uh, some of the added security benefits that's in the sensors, uh, actually just, just shock and awe. Uh, being able to detect vaping, uh, we've had a medical emergency here where a student was using a vaping device on his face, a vaping device may not seem that bad, but it was uh, laced with THC. So he ended up having a medical emergency inside the school. Being able to detect that uh, would help us tremendously as far as limiting, you know, where's it, where's it occurring at? Where do we need to focus you know, more area at? And makes it safer for all the other students here as well. David Carroll with that school report. Don't even think about trying to remove or tamper with one of those devices if they're touched an alarm goes off. Murray County school officials aren't trying to catch anyone unaware. They are making every effort to inform students in advance of these new safety measures.